Hi everyone, Alistair Davis here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for tuning in. Today we have a live lesson and Dave has come down from Scotland and we're going to look at giving him a better delivery into the golf ball. So we're looking for a pro style delivery. He does a few things in the golf swing that make it hard to get the pro style delivery with an iron shot exactly as we want to. So we're going to work on the cause and the effect. I'm going to share with you how we go about that process and also share with you the evidence of kind of before hopefully some after footage and you know the process as we go through it and what we do to make those changes. So if you are a new viewer, please consider following or subscribing. I post videos like this three times a week. So please join me on my journey and let me help you improve your golf. Keep watching to learn how. So what we see in Dave's golf swing, he's a really talented kind of, I would call slightly old fashioned golfer because you've done a lot of self-learning in the past and you've had some lessons in the past. But I think it's true to say that your initial journey was more self-taught and you've got a couple of things in your golf swing that uh, you would call them, let's call them characteristics that make you play well. So you're a 13 handicapper, is that right? Yeah. Um, and you hit the ball quite, quite a nice distance and the striking is either very good or poor today, yeah. to be fair to you. You're normally, I know it's normally better than it, you've shown me today. But today we'll see from the images I share with you, the strike's a little bit in the heel. And you had a couple of shanks in there too, yep. um, when you were warming up. And we'll explain to you why that happens. But basically what happens in your golf swing, there's a couple of things that obviously are not ideal and there's a couple of compensators to make it better. And what we're gonna try and do today is reduce the amount of compensation by getting you in a better place on the way back also. So the journey of your golf swing, if we look at it at the moment, is the back swing starts by working a little bit inside. We're not gonna change that. Because from there what happens is the arms separate and work up quite drastically to a very upright position. When you do it, there's a lack of turn because the arms are going up in the body. So there's no connection between the arms and body. What we're looking to see you do in terms of the backswing is have more hip rotation and more connection with the arms. Even though the takeaway goes a bit inside, try and get it to feel flatter to the top to help the downswing. In the downswing at the moment, you start down a little bit too steeply or above plane and then through impact the body stalls and the club head is out too far in front of the hand as we come to this pre-delivery position which is why you get that heavy strike and also why you pull shots left. So the shots you do hit solid today are pulled left of targets by 5-10 yards or so. What we're looking to get you to do long term is obviously get this pro style delivery as we talked about where the club head is inside the hands and then you're able to rotate a bit more to square that club face up. At the moment, the body can't rotate because the club's here. If you rotate, you'd hit it even more in the shank or you pull it even more left. So we're looking to get your swing plane flatter in the backswing and in the transition to get you into a better pro style delivery. Now, part of the other conversation you have is you have a lot of legs slide through the golf ball, which makes striking the ball and finding your low point a little bit inconsistent. I'm not gonna really work on that today. We're gonna see if that improves for free. And if it does, great. If it doesn't, then that'll be something we'd work on in the future session. You know, the ideal number of things for you to work on would be two, okay? Don't want you to overload your brain. I want you to understand your golf swing, but I don't want you to think, oh God, I've got to work on A, B, C, D, E. I want you to have clear learning outcomes when you go to the range. So we're going to work on hip turn and keeping the glove under your left arm to get some connection in there at the moment to get this arm swing a bit flatter. But really feel that your pelvis is turned a lot more. And then from there, we're going to see how your delivery changes naturally, but also we're going to give you a drill to work on delivery as well. So you've got something as a constraint in the checkpoint to get you on track. So come and address that ball for me. And we're just using the glove under your lead arm and kind of the back end of your lead arm. And you're going to try and keep that glove. So let's go ahead and make a back, back swing first of all, a practice swing. So we're trying to get you to feel that there's more hip turn, more mid spine turn, and the feeling of connection and being a bit flat here. So this actual practice swing here, your shoulder plane's a little bit too flat, which is not what happens in the real swing, so we're not worried about that. But this would be certainly the feel for you, that these arms kind of across your pec area and feel very low. Okay, good. So go ahead and hit a couple of shots away. Good, I don't mind you failing a little bit. The idea is if we can make a change with some failure, that's absolutely fine. You learn more from failure than success. But the idea is we've got to see if it makes a change. Good. Just do another practice one for me. Just feel that rotation. 
Mac connection, good. Well done, a lot better that one. Definitely getting flat and the delivery is changing. So just give me a couple more shots doing that. Does it feel difficult? Yeah. Well, the glove is there to give you some feedback on whether you actually do shallow the arms or not. Yeah, well done. Ball flight's definitely changing there, starting more down the right hand side which is more I'd want you to do. I'd want you to you know, have a swing path that's probably a couple of degrees from the inside. No more, but earlier you were about four, I think it was from the outside. So we're trying to get that less. You know, if you end up with your natural swing at the end of today being a couple of degrees across the ball, or two degrees less, I'm okay with that too. It's just feeding what you need and giving you that progress to change. So what we're going to work on now is the delivery of the golf club as it comes into the ball. We're going to do a lot of practice swings initially first. So I'm going to set a stick back here in the ground. And this is going to be quite a bit from the inside, angled roughly the same as the shaft address. No magic number, but just take your address position again for me. Okay, now if you make a back swing for me. Good. Now as you come down, what I want you to feel here is your hands are ball side of the stick and your club head is trail side of the stick, if you like, feet side of the stick. Yep. And I want you to try and come down and get this position here. So you get the hosel or sweet spot on the stick and your hands in front. And then ideally from there, then feel that you'd come from in the inside here and turn onto the golf ball. And again, trying to feel these legs are quite wooden as you do it, right? Yep. Hips can turn, but I don't want the legs to slide. So again, just work it to the top of the backswing again. Three quarter backswing's fine. Work it down slowly and kind of pause at that position. Very good, hands out a little bit more. Do it like that. And then from there, bring it inside and feel that rotation. Right. Good. So just make a few reps of me doing that. Good. Try and pause a bit more on that stick. So come down and kind of feel the pressure of the hosel on the stick a bit more and the hands out like that. And almost feel like you're going to be stuck. Right. And then turn and extend through the ball. One more go. Very good. Okay, now we're going to go to a hitting shot and we'll put a stick there just on the ground and I want you to feel that you're going to marry that up on the downswing. So again, your rehearsal can be married up and then go ahead and hit the ball. Good. Now try a ball for me. Very good. Very good. Keep going. Marry up the rehearsal and then go for the ball again. So again, do a practice swing, just feel combining the two things a little bit. So hip turn, flat arm swing, marry at the top, bottom, so hands on top of the end of the stick, club it back there. Then from there, rotate, no slide if you can help it, through the ball and extend. Good. So rehearse it and then go ahead and hit one again. well done okay so there you have it a couple of things we did there to change Dave's pattern of movement flatten his arms and get him more connected and more importantly improve the delivery so when I coach people I'm very much looking at the first point of breakdown and the last point of breakdown and we could probably argue that the first point of breakdown was your takeaway but we've left that alone because I want to really get a bigger change from you today in one session rather than be on that long-term journey. If I'm going for the real long-term journey, the takeaway might be where I'd start, but that's not going to make you play better for a while. It's going to make you look better. Yep. But we're looking for that as your secondary point, your secondary lesson. So that and more the leg action would be with the future. So hopefully you've enjoyed today's lesson. If you have, please click like and share the video. Also ask any questions or comments or request any videos. Or if you want to take part in the video in the future, please hook me up down below. Thanks, Dave, for coming from Scotland. Really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Good luck with the golf in the future. We'll stay in touch, obviously, and we'll, we'll guide you through a little bit more. But also, if you haven't subscribed, please hit my logo down this bottom corner and join me on my journey. 
and hopefully I can help you lower your scores and improve your golf and enjoy your golf more. See you soon.